Hey everyone, uh, it's Mike here, here to show you how to make a character with Saga Porn 1.5. Uh, we're going to make a Archeon character today, and I'm hoping that this helps some of you that are putting together a character for the upcoming live campaign that we're doing. So, first thing, open up your PDF, and scroll down. Alright, so the first thing it says to choose is race. And we're going to go human. Uh, this is a template that I have up on Google Drive. And it's shared so that way you can actually download this and use it to fill out and make your own character if you want to do it in Google Drive. You also have the PDF that you can download to fill in all the, uh, the form on that or print it out and fill it in the old school way with the pencil. So first thing we've done is we've picked human. Uh, humans get plus one to any skill. Uh, this guy is going to be an Archeon, and so it's very important for them to be uh, to be strong against magic. So I'm gonna give him his plus one in survival, which also counts as his will save. It's one of the things that we did in 1.5 is we instead of having a whole separate chart for for saves is they're built into the skills so acrobatics is reflex endurance is fortitude and survival is will so we've chosen human and now we go down to choose a class and we already said we're going to do Archeon let's just come right down to uh, here we go so Archeon uh, they're witch hunters, they're anti-magic users, um, sort of the replacement for paladins, you know, minus any of the divine stuff. So, uh, we know that our guy's going to be first level, so first thing we do, we come back over to the Google Docs, uh, we put Archeon level 1, which that means that his challenge rating is 1 half. He's human, so it's medium-sized. Handed, we will say uh, he's right-handed. And uh, languages we'll get to later. All right, so the first thing that we get is at first level, base attack bonus. Whenever I'm making a character, like basically I just pull up this chart and I go left to right, just filling in all the upgrades every time it levels up. It actually goes pretty quick once you get the basics down. Uh, so base attack bonus is going to be plus one. Base attack plus one. Uh, class bonuses gets magic sense and mage bane. Uh, it means that he can sense magic and also uh, whenever uh, he is fighting against a magic user, he gets to roll 2d20, which is pretty badass. Uh, but you don't run into a lot of magic users because magic is rare in athletes, so it's it's not, in my opinion, not overpowered. Um, next is uh, the first legacy item. Now I, I always tell people you can choose your legacy item at level one if it's a story, if it's a story based item that has something to do with the past of the character. But you can also wait because it doesn't a legacy item doesn't get powers until level two, so you can actually not name your legacy item until you hit level two and then you have a better idea of how maybe you're going to be playing your character uh, before you assign what the legacy item is. Uh, the next thing is uh, skill points. So skill points is uh, actually we we should assign the uh, the character's ability points before we do skills. So that way we sort of know what we're building on. So here uh, we're going to do a point by system, which means that every uh, ability starts out at negative two. Your abilities are these, your basic D20 Pathfinder abilities. Uh, we, we stuck pretty close to the 3.5 that this is all based on. And they all start at negative two. One of the big differences is with 1.5 is we've gotten rid of the legacy ability score, which is the old roll three, 3d6, you know, you're somewhere between 8 and 18 points. 
So what we've done in this is we've just gone right over to the uh, ability score modifier and that's what we're using as the ability score. So we have a point by, everything starts at negative two and then every character gets 19 points to spend. So we've got this here. Uh, up here we got the 19 points to spend. Everything here is at negative two. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is I want them to be pretty tanky so let's bring that up to plus three so that's gonna need plus five to it to get over to plus three as a total uh, which means that we subtract five from that which equals 14 now I, I normally just scribble through this really quickly I'm just sort of illustrating it so that way you guys can see the math that I'm working with uh, next up I want his wisdom high, like I said, so we're going to do um, wisdom, let's say plus four, so that gets it up to plus two, so minus four, down to ten. Uh, I think strength is going to be a big thing, so we'll do plus four equals plus two, so minus four equals six. Uh, I don't care about his dex being that high. But I also don't want it too low. So let's do plus one there. So he's going to be at a negative one dex. He's going to be like a tank. So that's minus one equals five. I want him to be, uh, for role playing senses, let's say he's going to be, you know, a little bit above average intelligence. So plus three equals plus one intelligence minus three you know I don't really like gaming scores too much I don't like looking at them and saying oh what's the the min max I can do I like to think about the character and, and you know if I'm going to be playing him intelligently I'm not going to use that as a stat that I just leave at negative two because I think that that's unfair for uh, the just the gaming experience and so we're left with two so we do plus two and this guy will be just average charisma so now that I've got that I'm going to just copy that real quick open up my Google Drive and I'm just gonna paste it here so I can see it easily so strength is gonna be plus two his dex is minus one his constitution is plus three intelligence plus one Wisdom is plus two, and charisma is zero. And then once I get that in, delete it. Since this person is an Archeon, I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of the mana thing because they are definitely not going to have mana. And then once this is done, uh, I, before I assign the skills, I normally go in and I add in all of the skill points to uh, to the skills. So what that means is on the normal character sheet it tells you what skills use what ability. Uh, here we have acrobatics uses dex, athletics uses strength. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through before I spend my 10 points and I'm going to give everything what it is based on the uh, scores that you have. So uh, reflex is going to start at negative one, athletics is going to be plus two, Awareness is going to be based on wisdom, so that's plus two. Endurance is constitution, plus three. Knowledge is intelligence, plus one. Persuasion is charisma, zero. Spellcraft doesn't matter because he's not going to be a spellcaster. Uh, this is the plus one from being a human, and you'll add the plus three for constitution, so plus four. And then thievery is dex again at negative one. So now I have 10 points, which I'm gonna use this up here, for uh, the Archeon skills. Well, every, every class gets 10 points at level one to pass amongst everybody. So uh, what do I wanna put them in? Well, uh, and also another thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is you you can't have uh, add more points in uh, than 
the characters then the characters level plus one so that means that the most i can add in in ranks at level one is plus two so we're going to go right to survival and i'm going to add in uh plus two so i'll be up to plus six so minus two and then next up endurance uh let's go ahead and bump that up two so minus two knowledge i'm going to give him one um, acrobatics i'm going to give him one just that way he evens out to a zero um athletics let's give a one awareness i want him to be like watching everything that's going around him uh he's a tank but he's also sort of you know uh the the guardian of the group so we'll go up to there and so let's see that's two four six seven eight nine so i get one more uh and let's put it into thievery so that just evens out okay so back to our document we've added the class bonus which is uh, class abilities um at this point later on you'll get things like extra talent points or extra hit points uh, legacy item we've jumped over because he's level one he's not going to get any bonuses for it we've done the two skill points and now he gets two talent points so we want to go down to talents and uh, every talent has a number next to it so you can I have two points to spend each of these are the points that it costs I think even though an Archeon later on is going to get an ability that makes him able to stop magic coming against him, I've always wanted to create one that just has dispersed magic from the start. So this guy's main thing is he is there to stop any magic being cast at him. So uh, I'm going to use both my points to get dispersed magic, which will allow him uh, to negate it with a heroic action. So we'll copy that and talents which are two points paste out formatting disperse magic so that's his talents and if we scroll back up here to Archeon sorry I guess I should have bookmarked these different pages I need to go to so now we've done everything for level one base attack bonus that uh, 10 skill points and two talent points so uh, the last thing to do after that is uh rid of that uh oh his speed is 30 i missed that earlier um so he doesn't have hit points we didn't do that the great thing is at level one you get max hit points so the hit die for for an archeon is d10 that means he gets 10 plus his constitution bonus so that means he gets 13 and i put in there one hit die because everyone always asks what uh, like certain spells are going to need to know hit die against certain creatures uh, next down is sanity uh, we will probably mix this in a little bit in the future for the online campaign uh, we'll keep it pretty low in the beginning uh, but sanity is sanity points always start out at 75 uh, plus your wisdom so it's going to be 77 points Sandy can be affected by uh, creatures, scary creatures, um, doing strange things like reading forbidden books, like, you know, books that are filled with dark rituals and things like that. Um, and and it's, it's just a way to add another layer to the game of, you know, you're dealing with these really creepy things from another plane of existence. How does this affect your, your character? Uh, weaknesses, no weakness yet. And uh, fears... You know, let's let's say bears, uh, just because I think that would be funny if he ever ran into a giant dire bear and then he had to deal with that, which is normally a sanity roll and, and he's rolling at a negative against certain things. But you get bonuses uh, for having fears. Uh, we'll probably talk about that in a different video, though. So the last thing is, let's do equipment. So at level one. We need to go down to equipment and uh, 
Here it is. Each player gets 3d4 plus 10 times 10 plus 20 gold pieces at character creation. So let's just average that out and say that 6 times 10 is 60 plus that is 80, 80 gold pieces. And from there, I'm just going to go through and buy a couple items. Uh, let's see. I, I see this guy. Let's give him a, a, a battle axe. It used to be my favorite when I first started playing D&D. So why not carry it on into Sagaborn? Okay, so he's got a battle axe. I'm not going to really keep up the mic, so I'm not going to go through the whole equipment list uh, while we're here. And for 80 gold points, let's go down to armor as well. Uh, so he can't afford a chain shirt. He can afford chain scale mail, though, so that's where he's going. So with that and the battle axe, uh, he's almost out of money. So do scale mail. So the last couple things we'll do with this is the battle axe is going to be the melee is going to be damaged or the two attack melee is going to be base attack plus strength. So that's plus three to hit and a battle axe does 1d8. Is that what I... Yep, 1d8 slashing damage. And so it's 1d8 plus his strength. And there he's got a melee attack and then... Uh, armor class so we'll explain a little bit about armor class armor class is dexterity so it's negative one is what he's getting uh, because of his dexterity he bought the scale mail and scale mail gives uh, plus four to the bonus so plus four uh, for his armor so that would mean that in total, at level 1, he'd have 15 AC. Touch AC is your, uh, is your, your, is a base 10 AC. All armor class is based on 10. So it's 10, 10 plus whatever you have in the parentheses here. So touch is going to be uh, minus the dexterity, which is funny. I've never actually talked about this in the Sagaborn book, that if someone, uh, well, actually touches minus your armor so oh look at that that's why you always double check stuff it's not 15 it's 4 4 ac minus 1 so that means that that's actually 13 and so that means touch is minus uh no armor plus the dex so your touch is going to be 10 minus 1 which is 9 and flat-footed is uh, when you're caught unaware with your decks. And so this is what I was gonna say is, I don't know if I ever wrote down that if you're flat-footed and it, you lose your decks, if it's at a negative, it, uh, it actually would go up, which doesn't work. So if you're flat-footed, it's supposed to be 14, but it's minus one, so it's 13. And I think I'll go add something in the beta book right now that uh, makes sure that you know that you never get rid of a negative decks. And so basically with that, we have created our Archeon, level one, uh, ready to go. Now, if uh, you have any questions, you can find me on Facebook, uh, in the Sagaborn group, or on Discord. But that's all you have to do to get ready to, to play the adventure. So thanks a lot, and uh, talk to you soon.